Hello and good morning. This is a video response to the youths in their faith. The reason why we have so much division amongst man and woman is due to the fact that man and woman are gullible enough and dumb enough to take man and woman's word over the very gospel word, which ultimately leads people astray. Now, where in the gospel does it say that God actually, in fact, isolated his son Jesus Christ, or better yet, any of the twelve disciples? According to my knowledge, it doesn't. People need to start applying the gospel to their life as well as studying the gospel to, the, you know, get a better understanding as to what's really going on here. The reason why so many guys are failing, not just at life, but in attracting the type of woman in marriage that they honestly envision themselves having later on down the line is due to the fact that they lean upon man and woman's understanding and not the gospel. I don't know how many more times I have to drill this into people's heads at the end of the day. Pick up a copy of the King James Bible, study it and apply it to your life. And the Holy Spirit along with presence of the Lord, will take care of the rest. And I can guarantee you, if you study the gospel and apply it to your life, you will have a better understanding to the world that we live in. And you wouldn't fail half as much. The reason why guys fail a lot of the time, like I said, is because they're dumb enough. They're still technically speaking, naive of their faith. They would rather take man and woman's word rather than the gospel word. And is there any wonder why a lot of you guys fail and fall on your ass 24-7? Because you're as weak as piss. You take the very word of man and woman As sheer truth rather than what the gospel predicted 6,000 years ago 2,000 years ago and in the presence of the Lord thy Jesus Christ so people once again man you're gonna have to stop leaning upon your own understanding yes you have free will but that doesn't mean you're going to be free from the consequences and the punishments that you would inflict upon yourselves by believing in what man and woman has to say rather than what the gospel has to say. How many more times do I have to stress this amongst the youths of today? This is why, like I said, so many youths are failing, including the opposite sex. Because you're taking the world's voice over the gospel word. Now I can guarantee any of you watching this video, if you applied the gospel to your life and studied it, you would be winning a whole lot more rather than losing all the time. Because you're actually aware to Satan and just exactly what he's up to and how he deceives, you know, the human masses how he shapeshifts within the human masses, including animals. People need to wake up, man. I'm telling you, you need to wake up spiritually and psychologically and quit leaning upon your own understanding. There were occasions where Jesus was actually, in fact, alone. But don't mistake these times for isolation. They were mostly due to the fact that either he had a lot on his mind and a lot on his heart, along with a lot 
weighing in on his soul. And he had to just genuinely take himself away from crowded places in order to catch up with himself and heal. It is what it is. It wasn't anything to do with isolation whatsoever. Because God created Jesus Christ to go into the world and preach the very gospel word, as well as heal. And the reason why a lot of us get frustrated is because it's like talking to a brick wall without getting any fast results. This is how dumb people actually really are. It's the same with people that go, oh, I don't need no Bible. I could not possibly ever need a Bible. I know life all by itself. Oh, do you really, though? Do you? Okay, well, why are you not winning, then? Why are you a failure? Why are you losing more than winning? Because you're going upon your own understanding and not applying the gospel to your life. Ta-da! I'm telling you, man, people baffle me. It's like they go around with this high and almighty attitude thinking they know everything. Do you really, though? Well, if you did, you would know that it is spiritual and psychological, yeah? You would know that the biblical word is actually, in fact, our protection from virtually being stripped of everything, yeah? Well, there you go then. So people, once again, for the last and final time, I can't stress this enough, quit going on man and woman's own understanding, thus making it your very own understanding, and start applying, as well as studying the gospel word itself. And you watch your lives change, and for the greater good. It is what it is. It's not up for debate. It is not up for discussion. And to those of you that still want to go around with this arrogant mindset of I don't need the Bible, then you crack right on. Because I will only unfollow you at the end of the day. Because you're a failure upon yourself. You're doing a disservice upon yourselves by convincing yourselves that you don't even need the gospel in your life. When that couldn't be any further from the truth. The gospel... Think of it this way, the, um, the gospel, yeah, is like, a manual, it's like a manual, like, just like anything that's being sold on to us, yeah, it's like, um, a manual, you get a manual, telling you how to build, particular said something, well, that's exactly what the gospel is. It's teaching us how to be more aware and assertive within the spiritual realm of ugliness. Therefore, because we're more assertive, we're more aware and more dominant, for one, we can automatically repel anything that is sent onto us to cause us harm in here and in here. Common sense people. But hey, what do I know, right? People still want to joke, laugh and scoff me off as though I'm a crazy person. Hey, crack right on people, you crack right on. Just don't come crawling back to me crying like you always do when life doesn't work out the way you expected it to. All because you chose to go on man and woman's word and not what I had to say including the gospel. Truth be told, right? 